Hi guys, Fryman7 here. We've got a new Football Manager series starting today where we're going to be managing as Barcelona. Episodes will be out every Wednesday at 7pm, so make sure you click on the subscribe button. Click on that little bell as well so you get the notifications when the videos are out. And in today's episode, we're going to have a look at what we've got to work with. We're going to do a review of the team. And I've already started the process of what I want to do. So we're going to have a look at um, what players I potentially want to leave the club. And uh, maybe we'll start looking at some players that we want to bring in for them. But that is what this first episode is going to be about. Welcome to the channel, guys. It's the first episode of our Barcelona save. And I just quickly wanted to explain why I've chosen Barcelona for this save. Now... In FM19, I haven't really been a big club yet this season. I was Arsenal in the 3 4 database save that I've done. Um, but apart from that, I've not been any big clubs where I can see uh, what the big players are like. Any players that potentially you could buy that are young. I've not had that opportunity because obviously we've been Panathinaikos. We've uh, we've been St. Iso. We've been in um, a lot in lower league football. So... I've not had a chance to really, really delve into the opportunities that big clubs get in the game. So um, that's why I've chosen Barcelona. And um, I really want to have a complete overhaul of this Barcelona squad. Now, everyone knows about Barcelona. They're a great club, one of the best in the world. But recently, personally, I don't think that they have uh, been as good as they were, especially under... Pep Guardiola, um, they've brought in some dodgy managers, some decisions that I wouldn't have made, and they haven't really been that successful, well, they have still been successful, but not to a point of where they were, so the, the aim of this save is to bring back the glory days, and win everything, now to do so, it's going to be a bit of a struggle, I've already had a review of the team, it is very weak in my opinion, now, we will have a look at the squad. As you can see, uh, I've, I've been sorting through a few things. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to start with the B team because I want to explain. Actually, no, we won't. This is the first team. Obviously, we've got Lionel Messi, the player that everyone knows about. Look at all these 20s. This player looks superb. Um, and another reason why I did show you, choose Barcelona is because every time I've used Lionel Messi... Uh, whether that's be in versus mode, draft mode, Messi has been awful on the game. So I want to see if if he can and the players with these stats can really be um, as good as he is in real life. So it'd be interesting to see how he performs there. Um, yeah, it's it's just going to be he's he's getting old. He's getting old. He's thirty one years old, but he's probably still got. A few years left in him. Um, next player we've got is Dembele. Potential of a five star. Only problem here. And you'll see it in my formation. Is that he's a winger. We're not playing any wingers with uh, the formation that we're going to use. I have brought in some of the youth players. Abel Ruiz is one of them. So there he is. Stats aren't fantastic at the moment. He's currently a one and a half star. But he has got the potential of being a four and a half star ability. So if we're getting him involved more often than not. In the first team then hopefully his current ability will shoot up quite quickly in the game. Now, Arthur is one of the new signings of Barcelona, and um, financially, before we look at the rest of the squad, I'm quickly going to go through the stuff for the club. So, um, obviously, here's Barcelona. Media prediction is that we're going to finish second. Now, that is a concern already. Uh, everything else, we've got a superb um, state-of-the-art youth facilities, training facilities, that's very good. Uh, we've got uh, an owner that loves the club. And obviously, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because everyone knows about Barcelona. Obviously, you can see here we have won hundreds and hundreds of trophies. So the aim is to carry on and do so. Um, I don't need to look at the board, but obviously, we've got the list of the, the squad. We have got opportunity to bring in some more coaching staff, which I'll probably do later on in the save. Looking at the finances, so it looks very healthy when you look at the overall budget. We've got 131 million in the bank. I'm not really going to look into this so far because we've only just started the save, so this isn't um, relevant right now. However, we've only got a transfer budget of 17.9 million. What is all that about? 17.9 million. We've got 
a wage budget of 5.4 uh, and we've only got a hundred thousand left of that budget and the reason why uh, I mean we don't need to go into this we've got some debts that I don't see why we don't just pay them off now we've got some decent sponsors coming in uh, that are lasting for the next four years at least so we're getting some decent money in that way but this is why we have brought in a few players obviously before we've taken over these is uh, this is already the um the players that are in one thing i did forget to say is that in this save we are using the database um that's up to date as of the 12th of july i believe so i will leave a link for the uh, the database in the description below um if you want to download that it's up to you I haven't used it yet. This is the first time, so I can't comment how good it is. Although, being an Arsenal fan, I have looked at the Arsenal squad and it's quite concerning to me the fact that there's still some players in there like Peter Cech, Lichtensteiner, Welbeck, etc. Obviously, um, their contracts are running out and Ramsey's there. His transfer's are already arranged to Ra uh, Juventus. Um, but them players still being there, I just thought they just would have cleared the players out and it would be the exact squads. But um, I'm not sure how accurate all the other squads are, but obviously these are the players that um, Barcelona brought in prior to that, if you know what I mean, because when they started this season that it is now and not the new season on the database. It's confusing, but you know what I mean. These are the players that were already set up on the game to come into the club. So we've got Malcolm, who's joined for £37 million from Bordeaux. Arthur from Grumio for 28 million, Vidal from Bayern Munich for 16.25, and Lenglet for 31.5 million from Seville. Now, of those four players, I'm only going to keep one if it's possible. I don't know why Barcelona signed these players. They are not. Malcolm, he had the potential, but um, judging from his performance on FM3 Quartista's Flamingo save, he doesn't look that, that good. So. We're going to try and get rid of all of these apart from Martha. Now, we've looked at those. Uh, let's go back to the squad. Um, and whether we, we were on Arthur last time. He's got a potential of four and a half star. Very good player. Three star at the moment, but he's got great passing, great technique. Um, he will develop into a very good player. And I believe straight away he will be good. Deep line playmaker. Very good in that position there. Samuel and Titi, one player that I was potentially looking to get rid of. But... Um, as you will see shortly, we have got a very weak squad, so we're going to need to keep him. He's only 24 as well. As you can see, 16 tackling, 16 marking. Heading could be better. Decent pace. Um, linked with Arsenal this summer, but uh, potentially going to stay. But like I said, we've not got many defenders, so he's going to have to stay for now. Ter Stegen and goal. Very good goal goalkeeper on the game. Um Currently four star ability going up to four and a half. Although on here it says three and a half star, but obviously this is my assistant's or my scout's opinion of him. Not wholly accurate. Not wholly accurate there. Doesn't match up fully, um, but it's almost right. Uh, Coutinho four star again. Issue here is that he normally plays in these positions, whereas he's either going to have to play there or there. Um, so we will see what happens with that. Might end up letting him go because we want players that are going to fit in with the formation. Uh, PK, again, aging, but he's a four-star, 31 years old, um, but he's probably still got three or four years left in him being a central defender, especially in Spain and in this Barcelona squad. Um, Biscuits is there as well. He's actually younger than I thought he was. He's 29. I thought he was in his 30s. Um, but again, we need to see how well he plays in this position because I'm not playing with a DM. I am not playing with a DM. Only a three and a half star ability as well at the moment, which I am surprised about, but let's see how good he, he plays in the game. Uh, and again, looking at the youth players that we've brought in, Carlos Alina in, good first touch, good passing, um, very good flair. Only a two star at the moment, potential four. Let's give him the game time and see how he gets on. Uh, Sergio Roberto is our current First choice right back. Potential ability of three and a half star. He's only a three star at the moment. Tackling's not great. Crossing's okay. Pace, okay. But um, we're definitely going to need to get a right back there. Uh, good thing is that he is flexible. He can play in a number of positions. Jordi Alba. 
again the latter stages of his career 29 years old okay pace but he's got decent acceleration crossing's okay tackling's okay um current ability is only a free soul which again i am surprised at uh, and then after that we've just got some younger players one marita who i've promoted two star 18 potential to be a four he can play as a wing back so potentially a replacement for Jordi alba and hopefully we'll pack out the the, the squad because obviously we're not going to be able to get as many signings as we want because we've not got a lot of money we will be asking the board for more but you don't know what they're going to say. So, um, there are a number of players that I want to leave. Paco Alsalsa is going to Dortmund um, in July. He's going for like 20 minutes. Suarez is on loan. I've offered him to clubs though. Uh, Rafina, I've off offered him to clubs. Potentially, he's going to be leaving in the next couple of weeks. The same for Nelson Semedo. So, I believe Liverpool, Man U, PSG have put bids in from each one I accepted. I, I requested more money. Um, but if he does leave... For this guy, we've got um, potentially 45, 50% sell-on fee. So um, hopefully, if they do move him on, then we'll get half whatever they receive. And then we've got two players on loan as well, Murillo and Boating. Murillo, I've, I've played with before. He's pretty decent. The same as Titi, really, but he's, uh, he's older. Um, about the same in the air. He's more determined, better anticipation, a bit quicker. So uh, be interested to see how they get on. And then we've got Oda Turan again. Player out on loan. Good player, but he's 31 years old. He's not going to play. Not good enough for the side. So hopefully we can get some money for him as well. Now, what we're going to do now, I'm not really going to go too much into the under-19s because there's not so many decent players in there at the moment. We'll see how that progresses. But in the... And that is one thing we're going to definitely look at. Obviously, Barcelona... Um, looking currently, I believe, into improving their their under-19s again because obviously they used to churn players through, but it's not as good as it was. So we will be looking at improving that. But as you can see in our B team, there's some big players there that we're potentially going to get rid of. Luis Suarez, he tops them. 31 years of age. He is an excellent, excellent player. Will do a job for us, but at the age of 31, I want to bring in someone younger. So we put him on the transfer list. We're going to try and... Get rid of him. Same with Rakitic as well. Again, we might use these players for the start of it, but 30 years old. If we could get money for him, he's only three and a half star. We could potentially bring in someone better. Um, I didn't see this bloke before, but we've got Tadebo. I might have to promote him. Yeah, I'm going to promote this guy because we've not got a lot of players. Oh, did I put him to the wrong, wrong squad? Oh, shit, I'll put him in the B team. My bad. Um, anyway, he, um, he's he got a lot of potential, so he could develop really well. I'm still in the B team there. Uh, obviously, Malcolm's in there. We're trying to get rid of him. Arthur Vidal, again, 31 years old. Why was Simon 31-year-old at Barcelona? I do not know. Three and a half star. Great player, great stats. It will be very suited into the team that we've got, but... Um, yeah, if I can get money for him and get younger players, then that is the aim. I've got some other players here that aren't that great. But for now, potentially they will be very good. Lenglet, again, is in that list as well. Okay defender, but again, nothing special. Vermaelen is in there. Good player, but again, 32 years of age. We just need to get the money for him. He was great when he was at Arsenal, but yeah, he's... he's been hit by injuries and then other players in here Sergi Sampa really hasn't performed a couple of years ago on the F FM everyone wanted to sign him Wenger wanted to sign him in real life didn't happen uh, and he seems to have gone downhill maybe we'll use him maybe it'll improve him but he's 23 years old now so if he's not in the not in the team now I don't think he ever will be and then Jasper Clip Sillison as well two and a half star signing from Ajax Again, we're going to need to have to try and let him go. I think I've got him on the transfer list. No, transfer list, there we go. On the transfer list, some of these players. Um, but yeah, that is the side so far. So obviously we've looked through the first team. Now what I'm going to do is look at the tactics. Because as I said, we're playing a different formation. I'm going to use the formation that I've used in my St. I've saved before. Uh, but also if you've been watching and uh, following the two-game FM League... 
I've used this with my Crystal Palace side and it's worked very well. I've used it offline in the AC Milan side and I dominated with this formation. So we're going to use it again. Very attacking, 4-3-3. Obviously, we've got players that don't really play in this formation. So, again, we need to get these players out. We need to get some new players in. So, if you guys have got any... Uh, like I said, I've not really dealt with any big players this year on the game. So, if you guys know of any players that will be very suitable for this formation, some players that are young and turn out superb, then please leave those names in the comments section. Give me some feedback on how they have done for you. I'd really like to know... Um, maybe you guys can be my scouts and hopefully we can build this Barcelona side to dominate world football uh, with the help from you guys. So please make sure you leave that in the comments section, guys. And um, yeah, what else do we need to look at now? We've got 4 3 3. I'm going to go more in detail for the tactic. We're playing very wide uh, because I like getting the crosses in, I like opening up the pitch. Uh, but we will see how it works with Barcelona. We might need to play narrow. But generally, I've found that playing wide with this formation, and if this is successful, I will probably do a tactic video and put it on Steam as well. But generally, these players here will be more out this way, which will spread the defence out, leave space for this guy to run around, get the crosses in, and he can tap them in. But obviously, we're having to play on low crosses because Messi is not going to head the ball. Uh, also, like passing in space so we can hit the ball over the top into space over the fullbacks and hopefully get these wide players picking up the ball to bring it in. Um, Dembele, if we train him up, he might be very suited to this role. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. Um, the same with Coutinho, because I think he's quite quick on the game. We're, again, we're playing very direct and we're playing with a high defensive line as well. I'm probably going to switch this to wide just to stop people putting crosses in against us. Um, and obviously, with us being higher up, the midfield's going to be closer. So hopefully, this area will be tighter anyway. I like my players to get tucked in. I like to be tight. Play the offside trap because we're playing the high line. Uh, and th that is the formation that we're playing, guys. It's my 4-3-3. Very attacking formation. It, again, if you want to see um, a link or if you want more information on this formation, then let me know. I can I can pass it on to you guys. Um and now what we're going to do, we'll have a quick look at the team report before we look at the schedule and decide when, when we're going to come back in the next episode. Because I just wanted this episode just to be a brief review of the team. Um, not going to get any friendlies in, but I do want to come back for one game in particular. Uh, but we'll go into that in more details. I'm not going to go into this too much as well because there are so many strengths in this side, as you can see. But we've got a very short list of weaknesses um, where it says we could do with more depth outside the first team, especially in goal, up front, at right back. Now remember I did say we need a new right back, so we'd be looking to fulfill that position there. We've not got a lot of wages left, so again, getting these bigger players and expensive players out of the club will mean we have more money to play with. Uh, and then again, it's just saying our goalkeeper isn't fantastic. But Ter Stegen does turn out to be a very good goalkeeper on the game. Uh, as far as I'm aware, he was on previous years. Um, it'd be interesting to see if there's any other good ones out there. But um, yeah, like I said, if you know any, then leave them in the comments, guys. We're going to have a look at the squad depth now. Um, obviously, this is for the formation. As you can see, PK, best defender. The rest, Titi, Lenglet, Vermaelen, Murillo, not great. Free star for the right back. Nelson Smedo will be going. He's two and a half stars. So hopefully we bring the right back. That can be a four or five star. Jordi Alba as well. Three star in goal. Midfield is okay. Roberto, three and a half star. Rakitic, three and a half. Vidal, three and a half. Arthur, three. Biscuits, two and a half in this position. So um, hopefully he can improve there. And then up front, Messi, Suarez, and then no one else really. So we do need some new players. If I go by just general positions, Normally, when I come into a side, I will look at the, the, the key players I've got already because I don't normally like making a lot of changes at the start. So I'll see what players I've got at the moment, what formation I could fit around that. And normally, you would say, yeah, I'll have... I've not got many central defenders, so I'll only go with two there. Obviously, you'll have your wing-backs, so that means I'll be playing four at the back. Uh, and then midfields, yes, yeah, either two centre midfielders, but that would mean Biscuits wouldn't play. He is the best player. That is his best position, so we'd normally play him there. So, 
yeah, that's not working. I think a second formation I might do is to have Biscuits, defensive mid, two centre midfielders, maybe an attacking midfielder in Messi, Coutinho and uh, Dembele and not have a striker. We might go strikerless in this one. But we will see. We will see what happens. But again, normally I would play with this one a 4-1-2-2-1 two, two, formation. But I really do not like that formation. It never, never works for me. Never works. So that's why I'm not going to do it. We're going to do this 4-3-3. Three, three. I might do the strikerless one. I might even go for diamond as well. See how that gets on. Uh, but again, we do need to improve this squad. The way the season is going to kick off, we've got some friendlies. I will sort out some more. I normally play seven, eight, nine friendlies just to to see what the squad is about, see what the youth players are about, see if there's any potential that I can bring in. Um, but I haven't got great stats because sometimes there are some quality players that have got shocking stats. So we'll be looking at that. Our first game, the first episode, will be against Seville in the Super Cup. And then we will play the first game in the league as well against Real Betis. I'm not going to... Hispalus. Um, I just want to know transfers what's their transfer history uh, I don't think it's got they got William Carvalho obviously uh, but it's not got their new signing of um, Neville Fecker uh, that's a bit out of the database but uh, obviously Betis is going to be a good game there so we've got Seville and Betis in our first well our first games of the series but our second episode next Wednesday so make sure you check that out we will be playing Seville and Real Betis Hopefully we can get some decent results in our friendlies, but obviously friendlies don't matter too much. It's more about seeing certain players and seeing what the players can do. But let's have a look to see when our big games are. We've got Valencia on the 23rd of September. Real Madrid, 4th of November. We'll definitely be getting that game in. Atletico Madrid, 2nd of December. What about my birthday? So we're playing Alaves a day before my birthday. That's interesting. Uh, again, there's not some, not a lot of great teams in Spain at the moment, which is why the Premier League is much better than Spanish football. But anyway, uh, Bilbao, they'll be a good side to play against. 14th of April. Real Madrid, 17th of March away. So that is what we've got. Uh, obviously, we're, we're aiming to win everything. Um, but I just wanted this episode, like I said, to just give you a brief overview of the squad because all you guys know a lot about Barcelona anyway. Um, so I just wanted to, to let you know what I'm doing in this save. Um, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to mix it up, people, and I'm going to try and get some quality young players. But first of all, we need to get these players out of the club and see what we can do. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then hit that like button. And also hit that subscribe button as well so you can watch more content when it comes out. I've got some new, other new series out, guys. So make sure you check them out as well this week. And um, we'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.